women's rights advocate Ohene Yere Gifty Enti wants government to prioritize and invest in addressing menstrual health and hygiene issues among women. Speaking at the commemoration of the 2021 Menstrual Hygiene Day, she cited continuous education, cost reduction, and adequate provision of sanitary products in schools are key solutions in dealing with the issue. Menstrual health and hygiene is vital to the empowerment and well-being of women and girls worldwide. Appropriate menstrual hygiene is not only a health issue, but also enable women and girls to fully participate in school, work and other activities. In Ghana, high cost of sanity products, lack of education among others are reasons most women unkept themselves during such period. To today, you go to community, even right here in Accra, when children will not go to school because they've menstruated at the time of the month and they cannot afford sanitary towel, they cannot afford toiletry, they cannot use cotton wool. Teachers, utterances, um, people, sometimes even parents, the what they say to these girls, it, it, it eats them up. Women's rights advocate and menstrual hygiene ambassador, Oheni Yuri Giftianti, wants government to prioritize and invest in menstrual well-being of women. Why can't we make sanitary towels or pads affordable for women and girls in this country? We are taxing things we should not be taxing. We've talked enough. We need to make that deliberate effort to change things around. Broadcast journalist and menstrual hygiene ambassador Wendy Lai urged parents and teachers to practically communicate with their wards on how menstruation is about. What mother and father should be able to educate their boys and girls on menstruation? It shouldn't be left just to the mothers. A girl should feel comfortable telling her father about what she, the pain she's going through, how she's feeling when she's menstruating. And that's the only way we will be able to deal with the stigma We'll be able to normalize menstruation in our homes and in our schools and in our society. The Gender Minister Sarah Ajoa Safo says her ministry is in talks with the Finance Minister to issue tax waiver on imported sanitary products to enable its affordability in the markets. Upon assumption to this office, I have written to the Ministry of Finance to direct a follow-up on the removal of the luxury tax on the importation of sanitary parts. It is my hope that through programs like this, we can break the silence, raise awareness, and change the negative social norms surrounding menstrual hygiene in Ghana. For her part, a representative of UNICEF Ghana, Annie Claire Diffe, says her outfit would continue to support government in dealing with issues. The event was on the theme, more action and investment in menstrual health and hygiene.